Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, how is Pug.js typically used? So let's get into it. So Pug.js is, well, pretty much a, well, it's not the only one. The only two I really know that are being used for this sort of thing is Pug.js and EGS, but we can focus on Pug.js for, well, for, for this video. So you may have heard about something called server-side rendering. And for quite a lot of new developers out there in the world, or well, at least front-end developers, when I say, say server-side rendering, the first thing most people will think about is, oh, you're talking about React, right? No, I'm not talking about React. You see, server-side rendering is a concept that has existed for quite a long time, even before we actually had JavaScript. And the idea is basically that you have an HTML page of some sort, a user, like in the base case, a user will go to a URL on your server or on your website, and you will send them an, you send them an HTML file. In the base case, that HTML file will always have the same content. In other words, you have simply created a static HTML file with some hard-coded text, all that good stuff. And then you simply send that file to the browser. That's it. Now the user can actually see your page. But as things get more complicated, you will start to realize that, wow, I might need to have some dynamic content to be put into this HTML that I'm making, right? An example is, let's say that you have a web shop and you want to be able to click on a product and go to the product page where you usually see the price and you see an image of the a bigger image of the product and some per product information like that page is going to be the same for every single product it's just that you what you really want is to switch out the image and switch out switch out the price and switch out the description text of that product that is when we start talking about server side rendering so what server side rendering allows you to do is basically to say all right so I have this HTML template. In other words, it's not just a static file where you have hard-coded all the information into the, into the tags of the file. You actually have placeholders that say, hey, this is, the, the, this is going to be the image, and this is going to be the price, and this is going to be the description. Instead of actually just putting in some hard-coded text there and having basically one file per product that you have, you have a placeholder where you can now read that file into memory on your server and render out or basically grabbing that grab that information that you want to put into the template from a database of some sort and then put that into the file and send the file with that information or those placeholders sw placeholders switched out for the content that you actually want to show to your user and now the user can actually see well basically the correct information and this is the way that you actually most websites are built like you have some type of dynamic content and Although most people today seem to believe that everything is an SBA of some sort, it's actually not true. This is how most of the web actually works. So what Pug.js does, it's basically allowing you to do that exact thing. It allows you to create a dynamic HTML page where you can render things out. You can do everything from conditionally rendering things such as maybe if you can have if statements, if and else statements, you can have you can include different templates. Let's say that you have some pages that are always going to have the same footer section and the same header section. You can include include that and just have the static, part, like the dynamic part, be uh, well, basically read. You you don't have to repeat yourself. You can actually just template that out and have the body content be the dynamic thing per page. There's tons of stuff that you, stuff that you can do with this, and that's pretty much what it is it is designed for. And to my knowledge. The only other real option we have in Nodeland is uh, EGS, which is also a templating system. Which one you pick is kind of, I would say, is a personal choice. I would say that Pug.js has more capabilities. It's a more mature solution than EGS. So me personally, I pick EGS when I want to keep things fairly simple or my needs for rendering are fairly simple. But if I create something a little bit more elaborate and I actually invest a bit, or rather I know that I'm going to make a website that is going to be primarily server-side rendered, then I use Pug.js because, well, 
we don't much we, we don't actually have much in terms of alternatives at least nothing that I've seen you maybe you know know better but I haven't so although this is possible you should also know that it's less common to see people write things these days with, like using server-side render technology and te technology as especially uh, at least in uh, in JavaScript land you see more of this if you work with say PHP which is extremely good at this sort of stuff it as I said like this is basically allowing us to do the same sort of things with Node.js it's just that the culture around building applications in Node is usually that you have an SBA of some sort and then the server is mostly just the REST API. So what I want you to take away from this is that the typical use case for Park.js is simply if you want to create a server-side rendered application or a website that is server-side rendered, and that is basically allowing you to create dynamic HTML pages. That's all it actually does. You can do it with Park.js or you can use EGS as of the making of this video. Which one you pick is just, you know, that's a personal choice. I personally pick EGS for smaller things and Pug I pick for the few times I actually have a need to make a full-fledged server-side rendered application. It's not that common these days that you build such a website, but there are, are a few cases where I would say that this is the, absolutely the way to go. Hopefully this answers your question. Have a great day.